Malachi 1 is a great reminder to all of us that God deserves our best. See, in Malachi, the people had begun giving to the Lord their leftovers, if you will. The livestock and produce they couldn't sell or had no value to them. But God's commands have always been clear, that they were to give God a young lamb without blemish. And when pressed, they would say, well, God's commands are too hard to follow. So why does any of that matter? Look, God is God. He doesn't need anything from man, but he desires and deserves our love and obedience. Their inferior offerings showed that they no longer loved God. 1 John 5 says that loving God means keeping his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. But I think the greater sin here is that these sacrifices were a prophetic picture of Jesus Christ as the lamb that was slain. See, God gave us his best. Jesus was sinless, he was perfect. The Bible says that he gave us his only begotten or only born son. That word begotten is the same root word that we get the word genetics from today. God's gift to us was his best. It was intentional, it was predestined, there was no plan B, there was no other hope, there was no other sinless person we could count on to make a way back to communion with God. So what does that mean for us today? God no longer requires a sacrifice of lambs and goats, but he does still want our best. He wants us to cheerfully give tithes and offerings to the Lord. He wants us to become skillful at our giftings and talents to use them for his glory. He wants us to love one another, but most importantly, he wants us to love God with all our heart, soul, and mind. In Romans 12, Paul said it like this, And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be living and a holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. 